Hello there. Today we're going to be dealing with some of the little more fiddly twiddly bits that I've got left to do with this case. First up is replacing a mesh panel out of a drive bay cover with this piece of 3mm clear acrylic. Um, it's already cut pretty much to size so we've just got to file down some of the corners just to uh, get it to fit flush rather than standing proud on the top of this cover. Bit of zoom speed and it'll all be done. It'll all be over soon. And uh, with that all done, the uh, it now fits in brilliantly, and there's no flexing or bending or anything like that, so it's all good to me. Now, cutting perspex is a bit of an art form. You can't really do it with any fast-moving items like a jigsaw or a Dremel, so I've just decided to drill a load of holes in, and I'll file it down afterwards. So let's see what I plan to do with it. As you can see, there's uh, a few marks on it that I need, basically need to file down all the excess pretty much down to the marks. And the reason being is I'm going to be putting in this switch in the center hole, and then I've got two LCD displays for temperature monitoring, which I'm hoping to put one in each side. Um, but first it needs a bit of filing. Ah, if only filing was so simple as just looking at them. Oh well. With that done, the uh, piece of perspex has had its covers removed and sprayed green, but we'll come back to that later on. Next up is the uh, centre section of the front bezel, with the lovely machined Cooler Master badge which has been put in, and I'm going to take out. Just a case of getting a knife blade, scalpel, whatever, underneath one edge and just peeling it off. It is only glued on with a bit of glue rather than anything else. Because it's such a nice machined badge, I'm going to keep it on this piece of greaseproof paper for maybe use later on, or maybe not at all. We'll see. Um, however, I've then made my own badge, which is uh, a green radioactive symbol, which I think looks ten times better, although I haven't decided whether I completely like it or not yet. Um, we've also got some lights. After all, what's a case without lights? Um, these are little LED strips and they each have three LEDs and they are weeny, as you can see by comparison with this pen. I've uh, joined a few together and done some heat shrink and braiding on them to make them look a little bit more neat and tidy. I've then got a Molex to 3-pin fan lead which I'm going to basically cut up and use this to plug the Molex directly into my LED strip just cut off the three pin controller here and uh, pretty much then just wire it in and then I can connect the Molex to the switch and here we go ta-da! the lovely green light done with the switch which means I can turn it off in the middle of the night and not keep myself awake with that lovely green um, moving swiftly on we're on to our next piece of equipment which is a Corsair Dominator RAM cooler which I've had for donkey's years um, blue and black. Note the blue there. Well, we'll be changing that. So let's start off by taking off these side brackets mounting points. And uh, be careful you don't lose any screws and washers. There are loads on this thing. And uh, then with a scalpel or other such implement, butcher's knife, machete, whatever you have to hand with a point on it, um, just see if you can get underneath these blue stickers and uh, get a bit of an edge and then you should be able to just peel it off. I'll be rubbing the top with some thinners just to get rid of the rest of that leftover sticky if there is any. And uh, with the top off, we move on to the side portions. Exactly the same for the sides. Get the damn thing off. It doesn't take very long and any bits that are left over you can just scrape off with your knife or you'll take off with thinners. Um, now it's a case of dismantling it, they're just cross-headed screws, so doddle. However, the nuts are actually captive nuts built into the base plate, so brilliant idea there. You don't lose those as well. And uh, with those all undone at ridiculous speeds, um, the last one should just come off about now. And uh, you'll see that this is made up of two parts, and they're both L-shaped parts and uh, the top comes off with one side and we'll just tip these fans out for now and 
the other side is an equal L shape. And let's get it painted. And there we go. All painted up. You'll notice I've taken the stickers off the fans centers as well. I figured I ought to have it spinning up as well. And uh, it looks a lot better than the black and blue effort that was on there before. So I've moved my rig into the case and as you can see it's all uh, up and running, it's very nice. I've got the 24 pin extension that I braided earlier on in the work log along with the RAM cooler that I've just finished off. I'll be sure to do a photo shoot of it later and put up lots of links and images to them all. Onto the front the uh, two LCD displays are mounted up, two DVD writer drives and the front bezel that's just been done. Round to the back, we've got all the cables that I'm trying desperately to hide and uh, the custom reservoir with water flowing through it currently. I've also put in the lights and here you go with the reservoir glowing lovely green. Don't forget this will be shining through the side panel which will probably be the next video. That's it for now, see ya!